Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Taurus. This is going to be for your October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for October. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, then we'll take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. All right, so tell me about um, Taurus. Energy check-in for Taurus. Overall energies for Taurus for October 2023 for Taurus. Tell me about Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus. Overall energy for Taurus. What's surrounding Taurus? Okay, we have the Two of Swords. So it seems like you hit a crossroads here. It seems like you're confused about something. Uh, but whatever this confusion, whatever this cloud that's been lingering over you, you know, I do feel like it's going to be lifted here. Yeah, I do feel like good luck is coming towards you or that your luck is changing or that there's some forward momentum that's about to happen here. Okay, uh, we have a five of pentacles in the hierophant. Yeah, it seems like you guys are definitely going through some sort of a hurdle here. You know, some sort of change. Maybe it's a financial hurdle. Uh, perhaps it's a personal hurdle yourself. Um, but I get the sense that you are going to hurdle through it, okay? So the Hierophant Taurus energy. Uh, so this is uh, your energy right here, Taurus. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, I, I feel like it's taking some time for you to overcome um, this hurdle. I don't know why I'm saying hurdles so many times, but I keep hearing that, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, with the Hierophant here, I do feel like some of you guys are seeking some sort of advice for somebody uh, from somebody for help. And, you know, this could be maybe a spiritual spiritual advisor. Maybe this is a financial advisor. Maybe this is, a, this is a therapist or a life coach. But whoever this is, I do get the sense that, you know, whatever advice that you're getting I do, or one, whatever messages that you're getting, you do feel like this dark cloud is about to be lifted here, okay? The Two of Swords, we have the Star card, Aquarius Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and the uh, Seven of Cups. I do feel like you might realize, you know, what your purpose in life is here because I feel like maybe with the Two of Swords, you might have felt a little bit lost, felt a little a bit confused. But, you know, whatever this is, I do feel like you're 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 kind of like wide eyed, you know, you're seeing things clearly. You're kind of like having some realizations of like where you need to be, of how to get yourself out of this here. The uh, five of pentacles and the sun, Leo energy. Some of you guys are going through a huge spiritual awakening, okay? Some of you guys are, you know, finding happiness through your suffering here, okay? Um, we have the Hierophant and the Strength card, Leo, more Leo energy right here. So I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like with the Sun card and the Strength card, I do feel like you guys are definitely taking in and receiving, you know, messages from the Divine here, from the Universe. Uh, whatever this message that you're getting here i do feel like you're gonna s somehow implement some sort of change that's uh that's going on here for you guys okay the queen of swords we have the magician gemini virgo so i i feel like what we have here is i feel like you're feeling like you're gonna you feel like you can make something happen here you feel like you could create a ton of pentacles here um you know so you know with the magician here some of you guys could be uh, at the five of pentacles some of you guys could be down to your last dollar or that you guys were last down to your last dollar and I feel like um your luck just completely shifted maybe you guys started something new and uh, you know the money started flowing in you know I feel like you may you might have an, uh, had an idea and you know uh, you uh wanted to give this a try and I feel like it's working out okay uh what else do we have here for Taurus what else does Taurus need to know look out for work on for October 2023 for Taurus for Taurus here Taurus so we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And the Lovers in the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. This is all happening for a reason here. 
I do feel like the universe is about to give you all the blessings that you've been looking for here because I feel like you've gone through like a dry spell and you felt like nothing was happening, nothing was changing. And I do feel like there's change happening. There's abundance flooding into your life, coming into your life. There could be new love that's coming into your life here. Uh, you know, it could be a soulmate that's coming in. Um, I do feel like it's happening pretty quickly here. You might be feeling like, oh my God, there's a huge shift that's happening. You know, uh, you're feeling it in your body. You're feeling it in your intuition here. The Knight of Pentacles, we got the Three of Swords the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. One of, the, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like some of you guys need to really pay attention to your health here, what you're eating, what you're consuming, uh, because I do feel like what you consume can affect your mood here, okay? And I feel like once you make that huge shift in what you consume and what you eat, uh, you know, maybe eating more leafy greens, maybe eating more fruits or something like that, something more organic, things that are more organic. I do feel like your mood will completely change here because I feel like maybe you guys have been eating very poorly. Maybe you guys were eating fast food. Maybe you guys were drinking a lot of beer, you know, or something like that. But I see a huge lifestyle change that's happening for you guys here too. The Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, do we have a... It seems like you guys are leveling up here too. You know, keep in mind, all the queens and the uh, nine of pentacles is the embodiment of the empress here. So what we have here is I feel like, you know, I do feel like you guys could be overcoming self-sabotage here. I do feel like you guys could be overcoming, you know, betrayal or hurt, um, you know, things that you haven't let go of. I feel like you're surrendering that and letting go so that you can make room for blessings to come into your life. I do feel like there's a cycle, a tough, 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 hard cycle coming in for you and blessings are coming in. And just wait, I heard, just wait and see. You know, like, I feel like you're not going to believe it or something like that. Uh, it might be surprising to you. I do feel like there's a passionate new beginning in a relationship that's coming into your life. I do feel like this is an individual that's very sensitive. I do feel like this is an individual that is a very emotionally available for you. I do feel like this is a very creative individual, a very empathic individual. I do feel like this person will emotionally, in a way, I feel like support you in your journey here because I feel like you've been through a tough time and I feel like this person might have been through a tough time themselves here too and I feel like you might be meeting each other so that you guys can support each other in your healing and your personal growth and your spiritual growth here it's, yeah it seems like you're definitely doing a lot of introspecting self-reflecting releasing here some of you guys could be going through some sort of karmic release uh, some sort of karmic purification here okay so a lot of great things are about to come in for you here Taurus okay so just wait and also be patient too all right so uh Taurus I hope that this was helpful I hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye